Hey, what's good everyone? So, you do not have an Emma Leon door BB550, but you really wanna have one, and you think it is the pinnacle of the whole BB550 range, and it reigns supreme over all GRs, well then I might have a surprise for you, because I was able to score a pair, and we're gonna compare it to the Sea Salt pack, and we're gonna jump into the details right after the break. So here it is, the Amy Leondor New Balance BB550. I got these through early access by Amy Leondor because I bought the BB650, which is released next year. And I'm not super happy with them because they are a little, uh, a little dinky, some minor issues with them. And that made me think, are these really worth it? Especially if you have to shell out a lot of money for resale, and as I have the GRs as well, I was thinking, let's compare these. Are they really that much different? Are people just making things up and just putting them on a pedestal because it has this little logo at the heel? Well, let's dive into the details. So here they are. On the left, the Emelion door. On the right, the LA1 from the Sea Salt Pack. A lot of people make so much more out of the Emelion door than it actually is. They are claiming the leather is so much better, even that this is a full grain leather and the fit is different and all these kind of things. And I'm not sure if people are just trying to convince themselves for the cash that I have spent on resale or if they just don't have any clue about materials. I have no idea. I'm, I'm not a leather expert, but over the years you do get some experience with materials. So, so let's just dive right in. So basically, I mean, let's have a look at the mid and outsole. It is the same. Then we have same on the toe box, ex except for the mud guard. This of course is a suede, but this material here is the same. It creases even the same. It's the same materials on the lacing section surrounding the New Balance logo, same thing. It's exactly the same material here on the color. Same thing. It's the exact same material on the heel tab, the same kind of nylon, only oh, this is a cream white. Same goes for the tongue color, this is white, and this is a cream color, but material-wise, same thing. Same heel counter plastic, we have the same New Balance logo at the heel, same indented thing here, same indentment on the 550 logo at the side, same thing. And the only difference that I can spot are two panels, and that is, this panel right here, of course also on the, on the outside, same thing, and on the heel counter. And it's not even the material itself, it is the structure of the material. It's the same material underneath, the same leather, it's the same thickness, same thing. And the only thing is the texture. The LL1 feels a little bit smoother, and the ALD has a little micro texture to the material. I think the camera is able to pick this up, but it is the same kind of creasing if you poke your finger into the material. It's the same kind of spiderweb creases that you see. So they are exactly the same, and even the fit is completely the same. Some people say these fit bigger, they don't. I've compared mine and they are exactly the same length. Sometimes you have some variance in the sizing simply because if a shoe, if the midsole gets pulled out of the out of the mold, it's still hot and it might get deformed and stuff like that. It might be a little bit bigger and then the upper is gonna get adapted to that. So sometimes you have shoes that just fit bigger even though it's the exact same size and I've had this happen all the time. So just that you know, these really fit the same. So is it worth it? paying two, three, or four times as much as this one here, just because it has this logo on the heel. <laughs> to be honest, I wouldn't do that. I mean, there are a lot of nice colorways by Emma Leondor, I have to give them that. And if you can buy that for retail, of course, go ahead. I do the same thing because the price difference is not really big. They're very well priced, but objectively speaking, they're so similar and the materials are really the same, that you're gonna be overspending. And of course you can do whatever you want with your money, it's your money. 99.9% .9 are not gonna recognize the difference between these two. Of course, sneaker hats, they're gonna recognize, but to be honest, 
the Emilion door has really paved the way for this model altogether. People like it regardless, regardless of the logo on the heel. And I would just go for the GR if you cannot buy one for, for retail. These are getting re-released all the time. So I wouldn't even sweat getting this one here for resale. I did it once and I regretted it really. At least it wasn't too much. So my opinion is that is the same thing. And they have dope colorways coming out all the time and you're gonna be able to grab a pair for yourself and you're still gonna look dope. So I hope you found all this information useful. I hope I'm gonna see you in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Until next time, bye bye.